Uh, really great to have your support. It is Friday. We put together the collection of news from the most offbeat, bizarre state. Although there is <laughs> competition with both California, Texas, other states, but still they're number one. This is Friday Fabulous Florida. It's time for Friday Fabulous Florida. There is a gigantic alligator in my kitchen. A look at the weirdest stories from our weirdest state. By the way, shout out to a listener who did that graphic for us. A listener in the North Bay. Graphic artist in the North Bay. Very, very cool. Thank you for that. A Florida woman tries to slip her emotional support snake past TSA. This what? could, yeah, very much be the Florida story. Snake, huh? She, she was traveling from Tampa. She tried to slip her boa constrictor past the TSA inside her carry-on bag. When confronted, she called the reptile her emotional support snake. Uh, yeah. She called the snake, Bar the snake Bartholomew. So he has a name. Bartholomew and, uh, makes me feel better. He is the snake on the plane. You know, that's how it starts. <laughs> um, they did Instagram at TSA. So they, um, I don't believe they let her no. on with it. No. They I think don't... There's, a, there's a small list of, you know, therapeutic animals that are sanctioned and i don't think snakes on the list yeah exactly. <laughs> no it is not i know they are not a sexual bondage date turned deadly when the victims or the victim i should say bit the man's genitals oh yeah those oh, are geez. the the bondage stuff is tricky though you never know in a world of kink what people are into smash it with your iron rod <laughs> Investigators uh, say that apparently this guy's bondage sex partner that he met online uh, took offense to being bitten on the genitals. Uh, they arrested a 34-year-old suspect who's been charged with the killing, which is what happened, uh, manslaughter and possession oh. of methamphetamines. Oh, yeah, the guy died. Um, so which guy? The guy that was bitten on the the private area or the fellow the, that was the biter the uh the the guy who was wearing the um bondage gear uh appeared to have trauma to his body according to the medical examiner um and they don't say i mean it's tough you're right in a bondage situation an aggressive biter sex situation bitey, yeah biter or bitey they yeah. say that he was killed by blunt force trauma and strangulation the victim oh okay but they don't mention the bite. So the bite might have been, you know. Um, this whole thing went way too far. Yeah, it did. Yeah. It seemed like. Um, during, uh, well, we don't need that. I was going to say, I could give you more details, but I, I think we know how it happened. I think um, I'm okay. <laughs> uh, but no, no, no. Wait a minute. I do have a detail in answer to your question. Mm -hmm. Who died, biter or bitey? During oral sex, the victim bit down on uh, the man's penis, which caused him to beat the victim. Oh. The victim suffered severe injuries and was knocked unconscious. It was the bitey who got... Uh, yeah. who the bitey no did not us. like being bitten, and he killed the other guy. He's now under the biter. arrest. The biter is the dead one. The biter is the dead one. Yeah, yeah, right. yeah. Um, Florida man accidentally shoots himself in the leg while allegedly attempting to burglarize a car. It's a wild idea. <laughs> Um, this might work. A man accidentally shot himself in the leg during an alleged attempted burglary. This is in Okaloosa County, Florida. This guy was just out of jail on bond. He allegedly stole a firearm and was trying to break into this vehicle. By the way, he stole the firearm from another car that he'd broken into, was trying to break into this other car, and then he accidentally shot himself. Um, a woman outside uh, her home who heard it, uh, heard him also yell, I've been shot, and she called the cops. And uh, so man who shoots himself after breaking into the second car ends up getting help that way. A Florida man buys 
a four point nine feel- million dollar mansion using funds from a PPP loan scheme. Oh yeah, come yeah. on, yeah, yeah. it's uh, it's the American way. He bought a four point nine million dollar mansion in Seminole County. Authorities say that forty seven year old Don Sister Nino of Seminole County fraudulently secured more than $7.2 million in emergency funding through a paycheck protection program, those PPP loans. And, you know, that was supposed to help out people who were suffering from COVID-19 pandemic economic effects, right? Mm -hmm. And you were required to use the PPP loans for payroll costs, you know, interest on mortgages, these kinds of things, rent, utilities. Well, he used it too buy himself a beautiful house, 12,579 square feet, Kim, beautiful place there in Florida. It was a 12 acre estate. Uh, now they're selling it for 4.9 million because he will no longer be needing it. Has he not been paying attention to all the other people busted for stealing PPP loans yep. to buy mansions at Disney world and such? Like what makes you think you're so special that you're going to, you're going to be the one that gets away with it? Well, he also, why didn't he buy the Ferrari the way the rest of them do? They all have a Ferrari. <laughs> You know, it's just, that's the go-to move. Yeah. Uh, Well, good news in Miami. uh, The Museum of Sex is going to open a new outpost in Miami. Yes, thank you. Nice. Yeah, you've been waiting for it. Yeah. The, apparently there's demand. There is a Museum of Sex in New York, and it is one of the top rated attractions, according to TripAdvisor. Uh, It (laughs) opened... Well, it's kind of like going to a a sex shop, but in this case, without the shame or blame, because it's a a museum, right? Exactly. So one could argue that it's a a highbrow activity. They have robots, the sexy robot. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, uh, They'll have 32,000 square feet of sex museum in the Miami area. Yeah. And it will, as Kim says, it'll have a quality to it of museum, you know. Three large gallery spaces. The opening exhibitions include a solo presentation um, from the Grammy award-winning singer The Weeknd to open up the museum. Wow. What? They mean business, huh? Yeah, apparently. Um, RuPaul apparently is a designer and uh, is going to be part of it as well. They have a permanent installation called Super Funland, Journey into the Erotic Carnival. And... I could tell you more, but I don't want to get a YouTube strike. All right. Um, <laughs> did we do this story before? I don't know if we did. Uh, we didn't, I guess, if Albert put it in there. This is a Florida man who brazenly steals $5,500 in vacuums from Bed Bath & Beyond. Oh, no. It's a wild idea. Uh, this is a company, of course, Bed Bath & Beyond, that's already facing bankruptcy, as you know. And here they have a guy who, in Fort Myers, walks off with $5,500 in Dyson vacuums. Those are the ones that can pick up the bowling ball. And uh, his whereabouts, still unknown. Yeah, he got away with it, folks. <laughs> Some... <laughs> yeah, sometimes crime pays. Uh, And finally, this may be the story that gets my vote as the favorite. A woman who tried to rob a Pensacola bank fled the bank, but left her cell phone at the scene. Yes, again, it's a wild idea. What a dumbass. Um. She left her cell phone, Rebecca Marshall, 51, of Pensacola. She's charged with attempted robbery with a firearm, attempted grand theft. She's being held uh, on over $100,000 bond. She robbed a bank or tried to rob a bank with a gun. She uh, requested a $3,500 withdrawal. So the bank teller gave her a withdrawal slip to fill out. The woman wrote on the withdrawal slip, I have a gun, do as I say and then handed it back to the teller. The teller said she became so afraid she couldn't move. And the woman took the slip back and then left the bank, so without any money or anything. But when the cops got there, they found a cell phone at the teller's window. 
And surveillance video shows that it was the suspect leaving her cell phone there at the window. I mean, you might as well leave your driver's license and a map to your house, you know? So the cops search the cell phone through a warrant, and they find the owner of the phone is Rebecca Marshall. Uh, they search the name in their database. They found Marshall's photo matched the suspect on the surveillance video, and Marshall and another guy were involved in a recent string of robberies and incidents in the Florida area, and they closed in on Marshall and made the arrest. And that, That's my Rebecca. friends, mm -hmm. wraps Friday Fabulous Florida for today. This has been Friday Fabulous Florida. There is a gigantic alligator in my kitchen. They'll <laughs> come back now, here. So we have, uh, we're duty bound to pick a favorite. I'll just remind you what they are. And Albert, did you uh, set up a poll in YouTube as to uh, a couple of favorites? Or... Uh, I'll get this started now. Okay, but I'm just, uh, I don't know which ones you put in there. I'll tell you, uh, just remind you of all of them quickly. Florida man tries to, try a woman, I should say, tries to slip past T uh, TSA with the emotional support snake in her carry-on bag. Sexual bondage date turns deadly. Guy gets his genitals bit. Then he kills the guy because he didn't want his genitals bit. Florida man accidentally shooting himself in the leg while allegedly attempting to burglarize a second car. He'd ripped off the gun from the first car that he broke into. A Florida dude bought a $4.9 million mansion using PPP loan of funds. The Museum of Sex is going to open in Miami. Uh, the Florida dude who went into Bed Bath & Beyond and stole $5,500 worth of vacuums. And finally, the woman who leaves her cell phone at the bank that she had just tried to rob. I ask you, Kim, what is your favorite? Uh, I should pick the man who shot himself in the leg, but I'm going to pick the... Uh, dumbass who decided to leave her cell phone at the teller's window yeah 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 that's my favorite too it just feels very florida like a very yeah. florida thing to do leave your cell phone there uh albert what is your favorite please probably the emotional support snake it was a ah. it was a, a truly a wild idea to just leave it in your carry-on as it's going through the belt and you get credit for it being a reptile related story so you may be right there are no right answers yeah but uh in the um in the chat, uh, yeah, the uh, the pee pee bite gets a little love in the uh, the cell phone is oh. the best. Yeah, uh, cell phone, cell phone for sure. Uh, a lot of the emotional support snake, cell phone, cell phone in the bank, classic. Um. Emotional support snake. A lot of love for the emotional support snake. Snow. Uh, all right. Well, everyone, you can vote on YouTube. Albert's going to put up a handful of them, and you can vote for your favorite among that handful. The snake, I'm sure, will be in it. Which ones yeah, will be snake, in there? Uh, the snake is in the lead right now. I just posted it. So Okay. The, well, we'll, re we'll review that before the next guest. So but it's okay. snake, cell phone, and what else? Snakes, the the guy who shot himself, the cell okay, phone, sure. and the the bondage story. Okay, cool. All right. Uh, <laughs> Julie Kim... says it's a good punk band named Emotional Support Snake. <laughs> yeah, that's not bad. Not bad. <laughs> uh, so we are. If... Hi, it's Mark, and I thought that was great. Hit the notification bell; you'll know whenever there's a new video being dropped. And please subscribe to our channel to help us save the universe.